everyone, I'm back in the dressing room and today we are at one of my favorite places in the world, Nordstrom. Now, all of you who have been here before know that I've worked with Nordstrom for years. I've done a monthly sponsored video with them for, I don't know, four, five, six years. Today is not that day. And today I thought it'd be fun to just explore some of my favorite brands, see what they have in store, and I will tell you, not a lot. Nordstrom has been steadily moving away from fully stocking their stores, so much more on their website. So I will put up some collages at some point in this video and also link them down below of some things that are sitting in my shopping cart for me to order. But today it's all about what we have here. I thought we would start with what I came to the store to shop. Today's shirt is actually from Spanx. They just sent this to me in PR. Look at these little pleats. Aren't they cute? Um, I will try to pop in a full length picture because this is a, this mirror is not my friend. I'm gonna honestly say that this mirror is making me look a little thicker. Okay, anyway, so I'm wearing this in a small. These I've talked about forever. These are the Banana Republic Factory Tinsel Joggers. And then my tried and true Dolce Vita Haley's. I always start with a budget and I should tell you today, my budget for me is $400. That's my max spend before tax. And in my head, I had allocated some of that for some new spring summer shoes, but there's nothing in the store. So that's gonna be something I order at another time. Let's see what we got. I thought we could start with tops and then work our way to pants. So I love this color from Caslon. I got a very similar top during the anniversary sale and I love this color. There is some really pretty subtle detailing, like tone on tone things happening. I, do you see what's happening with the sleeves? It has an elastic cuff, but as I move my arms at all, it rides up and now we have that awkward length. I don't know, I do love everything about this material. I love this color. It's a true cornflower blue in person. It's very drapey and flowy. Personally, I would do a front tuck or a full tuck. I think it's beautiful. I'm just not sure. Well, the sleeves seem to be cooperating. It also comes in this really pretty pink. And then as you can see on the back, it has this nice darting detail. So the draping on it is gorgeous. Okay, there's no one back here. So lighting is still terrible, but at least you can see a little bit better. This is also from Castellan, size small. Their tops in particular, I can say the whole line actually runs pretty big. So it's pretty loose fit here. I love the little details. It's a little subtle details, but it makes a difference. This comes in a million colors. I wouldn't wear it untucked personally. Look at that. But just how it drapes, see how it moves. I love the sleeve length and the v-neck is perfect. It's not too low. This one might be a keeper. Sticking with untucked shirts. So in my spring trends video, we talked about how gauze is really big. This is really big on me, but it's also gauze. And I actually wanted it in white. They do have it in white in different sizes. This is the small. This is one of those tops. If you buy certain pieces, you know you're gonna reach for year after year. This is one of them. You can obviously roll up the sleeves, you can tuck it in, you can wear it open over something. You can almost wear it like a jacket. That's why I recommend grabbing it in white or if they have it in an olive green, I'll check. You could basically wear this as a coat, throw it over a sundress. Something like this has a ton of uses. I like that it's longer sleeve because most of you watching maybe are not experiencing the near 90 degree temperatures that we are. So if you're having a true spring, you can actually wear this, but then as it does warm up because it's gauze and fluey, you can keep wearing it into the warmer temperatures. Just roll up the sleeves and wear it open, maybe over a tank, but just so you can see the full length. Also, it's a little bit longer in the back and ugh, I just love it. You know what, that also be great as a swimsuit cover up. So lots of uses for it and it is $59, which is a really good price for all the things you can do with it. So I just wanted to point out some things about this shirt that I like and some things that depending on your body type and mine, I don't. So I will say I love a flat collar. I prefer it to like a normal actual collar. It doesn't get tangled up in my hair, my earrings or brush up on my makeup. So that's always good. I prefer V-neck. I find it to be more slimming and I like that it's a button down. Kind of nice. I love the drapey material. Not a huge fan of this print. It's this color and the repeat of it to me is 
not the most, not that I need fashion forward, but let, it's frumpy. Okay, I'm just gonna use frumpy. Here's the other thing to watch out for, the sleeves. See how they're cut like a true cap sleeve on the angle? Unless you have killer triceps, this makes all of our arms look bigger. It's not doing any favors for me. So I love this in theory, here it is untucked, but I don't love this on me. I don't know if it comes in other colors, but I'm leery about the way the sleeve is cut. So I love the drapiness. I love a lot of it, but just the overall execution. Here we go. It's me pass for me. Now, who would this be good for? Well, if you have really stringy arms, or if you have really skinny arms, if you have great definition, you know, this adds to that, it gives you some. So, you know, there's everybody's dealing with something different. So what is the exact opposite of what you need? It'd be exactly what somebody else does. Look at the texture on this. So I think everyone needs several basic white tees in their closet. Now this one is a small and it's really roomy on me, but I do also like to throw all my clothes in the dryer. So if they have an extra smell, I'll go grab it and try it on for you. But I have no problem with this one just because I know I'm gonna throw it in the dryer. Also, when it is 90 plus degrees outside and high humidity, you want nothing tight. That's just how it works. I love this v-neck. I like the raw edge on the sleeves and the sleeve length. I know it comes in other colors as well. Here it is untucked. It has the little high-low, you know, upper up on the sides, but do you see what a difference tucking something in makes? This is definitely on the short list. It's a basic, but it's a great piece, and I love this texture here. So this is also from Treasure and Bond. This is one of their ringer tees. They make a v-neck version of this that comes out every year. I have one in pink. Everybody loves it. I'm always asked for the link for that one because it looks almost like a burnout type material with velvet. It's not, and neither is this one, but this also has sort of a burnout texture to it. It's just a basic tee, but I will say this color combination is really unique, which is why I grabbed it. And they do have it in quite a few other colors as well. I have to tell you, this is a house brand. Um, they do give, I think it's 2.5% back of the profits towards different charities, which is nice. But I will say that for a basic t-shirt, I like I've said, I've had mine for years. I am so hard on my stuff. I throw it in the washer, I throw it in the dryer, I do nothing special and it's lasted for years. So is it more than an Amazon t-shirt? Yes. Is it worth it? Also yes. I have been asked for years to try the Viore joggers on. I'm wearing them in a small, and I'd say they're plenty roomy and everything, but then I'm getting some camel toe here, sorry. And then the mediums are kind of sagging on my butt, so that wasn't doing anything for me. So I don't, I guess I'm in between sizes. Here's the thing with Fiori joggers from my 30 seconds of having them on. Hands down, the most amazing material. I keep having to look down to make sure I'm not naked. It feels like there's nothing on. And to the touch, they are so buttery. Buttery soft is used a lot and it's overused. These, I don't know what they're made out of. They're like magic pants. Here's what I'm gonna tell you. Would I buy these? No, I would not. One, because apparently I'm in between sizes and neither is right for me. Two, we are moving into 80, 90 degree weather. I'm not gonna need joggers for a while, but am I going to try them on again? September, October time, hopefully when I have lost a little weight or tightened up. Yes, if I can find Viore joggers that are cut differently, I'll let you know, do not buy these. These are no bueno. Okay, let's just let the humiliation continue. I've been looking for the perfect white jeans. These were almost there. So let's talk about what I love. The length is great on me with heels. But then you get to hear like, this is pocket. What the hell, who, what? Why would you want to draw attention? Everything was going so well from like here down. And then, and then this happened. I mean, they're fine in the tush. I'm not seeing my underwear. Everything's great. I did size, I don't even know if I'm sizing up. I'm just, I'm wearing a six. Gaslan, you were so close. Don't worry, I'm planning on doing a whole dedicated video to white jeans, so we will see this footage again. <laughs> but these are, these are a no. Alrighty, well guess what? I'm buying these and I have them in the dressing room in black. So, if you're new here, I live in linen joggers as much as possible when it warms up because I hate shorts. Although I do have a pair of shorts to share with you. The Caslon linen joggers, don't get them in petite by the way, unless you're like under five feet tall because this is the regular length. These are amazing. Now, I have a ton of them in extra small. I have a few of them in small and I have accepted that I'm the size that I am. 
and now I'm gonna own at least two pairs in a medium. So I love these. I live in these. I cannot tell you. I mean, they're a little bit baggy, but again, I throw them in the dryer, which probably doesn't help, but I don't care. And I have finally accepted that instead of thinking about what size I want to be and feeling uncomfortable in the clothes that don't fit me correctly, I will just embrace the size that I currently am so I can get dressed and feel good about myself. And honestly, I feel like I look thinner in this than in anything I've shown you so far. At least I think so. So this is yes, and the ones in black are yes, size medium. This light is killing me. Okay, so another pair of Castling pants. Similar, they're not um, actual linen though, but drawstring waist, very cute. The side pockets, I am wearing them in a small, and you can see how it's pulling a little bit here. I could probably do with a medium, I don't know. As long as I don't throw them in the dryer, I think these are actually just fine. But um, I really like the drapiness of them. They're a slimmer cup, but they're not a skinny fit. I like the built-in cuff. It's just the right length for me, which I like. This is another one that is pretty versatile for springtime, definitely into summer, at least some summer evenings when it cools down a bit. All right, today's video should be, and when Tawani continues to select things that do not look good on her. So I will be completely honest, I hate shorts on me. I hate them, but I know a lot of you like shorts. So let me share these. These are linen, they're from Castlon. I'm wearing a medium. And if you don't love the shorter length ones, which honestly, I think my legs would look better in something shorter, they're nice. I mean, for, you know, for what they are. So I wanted to share them with you. I will not be buying them. I do think this much, I like that they're not super tight across here. I just wish maybe they were a little bit shorter and I would consider it. Um, I do know that Time and True has some linen shorts that are shorter. I'll link those too if you like this concept, but you want something just a little bit shorter. Oh yeah, they have pockets in the back. Sorry, I didn't tuck everything in. Can you see my touch? There's pockets in the back. They're nice. Come in a bunch of colors too. Okay, we are back to treasure and bond, and now we're doing wide leg linen. And these are a small, and they are plenty roomy. They have side pockets, they have back pockets. No, they do not. There's not much happening back there, but Again, I'm five foot four for reference. I'm wearing what, three inch heels. I love this length. And I love that I can probably wear it with flats and be fine. As far as what to wear on top, I would wear a more fitted, like a bodysuit or a tank, or maybe not something just not as drapey as this. But I think you can't go wrong with these for so many things. Basic pair of black pants. I know they come in other colors. This is going on my short list. I really like these as well. Okay, so remember, this is a big thing. Gauze is literally a big, giant, this is no. So, hmm, okay, for me, it's a no. There's a lot of fabric. This is a small, it's really cool. It's a really cool concept and I love it, but the execution, not so much. Now, who would these work for? It's clearly not so much for me. So if you're really narrow in the hips, if you're built very, very narrow, these would be great because you're trying to add curves. I don't need any help. Like I look like a rectangle with stumps so this is a no all right i'm gonna put my clothes back on and go check out and then we will sit down and i will share what i bought with you when i get home here is what i took home let's go through it really quickly first of all let me get the receipt out we'll talk about that in a minute basically i pretty much forecasted what i was going to be buying i picked up the navy and blue castlon linen jogger grabbed those in medium to add to my growing collection and I do want to get them in the olive green as well. They also come in gray. I just don't reach for that color that often. So that's the one color I won't buy. And I also picked up the Cotton Slub V-neck tee. I did look at the website and the model is wearing it pretty much the same way I did as far as fit. So I'm glad I went with the size small. It also comes in black and the receipt, the grand total before tax was 147. So with tax 159, which means I didn't come anywhere close to my budget, which is good because I have a huge wish list. So let's talk Nordstrom for a moment before we move on. I love Nordstrom. I grew up going to Nordstrom. I will always be a Nordy girl. It makes my heart sad to see how empty the stores are and how little inventory they have, but I still have hope for Nordstrom because when I went on their website, it was chock full of stuff and my cart is sitting very, very full right now. I've put together a little collage, just like when I went to J. Jill, I would love 
your input. What do you think? Also, I do want to add to my shoe collection. I don't know if I'm going to keep that in this $400 budget or allocate a separate shoe budget. I think it should be a separate shoe budget. So I will also list below and put over here some of the shoes that are also sitting in my cart. Let's have all y'all vote and how I should spend my money. So anyway, that was it for my Nordstrom dressing room try-on haul. I have lots of suggestions from the last one that I did, so I'll go revisit those comments. But if you have any other suggestions about where I should go try something on, please let me know down in the comments. I hope you had fun going to the mall with me today. I had fun taking you along, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.